So for the last two days, you've been watching the news filled with live shots from reporters like Michelle. They're standing on snowy roads telling everyone else to stay inside. Now, that whole concept leaves you kind of scratching your head. Then listen to this. Veteran journalist B. Thompson, now News and Public Affairs Director for WBAV and the host of Queen City Limits, is here to tell it like it is. B, thank you so much. It always strikes me that we do that. We go on TV, we go yeah. on the radio and say, it's dangerous, don't go out there. But of course, we're all out there. We go out there. <laughs> yes. Why is it this way? We do it like that. That's, that's what we always do. Well, you know, we might as well admit it. Reporters are weather junkies. That's what we do. We uh, live for the assignment that sends us where no one else dares to tread. It's the icy streets, the flooded roads, the windswept or tornado ravaged alleys that used to be farm fields for the most part. You know, we keep extra clothes in our trunks. We keep the boots that come out that are well worn. We've got coats that only see the light of day on the coldest of nights. We answer the phones. As my mom says, we are bright eyed and bushy tailed. When others are wondering if the office is closed, the only thing we ask is one question. What time is my live shot? And we live for the weather war stories. You know, the stories that go, remember that time we covered that hurricane that took out the network's live truck? They never did get that thing back. <laughs> Bet that engineer is still paying for that one. Well, yet it is our lifeblood for every photog who ever saved a camera and got the shot for every producer who got the information and kept the show running on time and every reporter who kept repeating <laughs> themselves because somebody just woke up to find out exactly what was happening. You know, I once stood on the side of the road in a snowstorm freezing my tush off as I waited for the producer to give me the signal to start talking and a lady and her husband drove by and she said, honey, why in God's name do they have you standing out here in the middle of this mess telling folks this. And I just smiled and I told her, so you can see it live and I can tell you, don't do this. <laughs> That's what news is all about. And by the way, with regards to my hairdresser who usually has my head looking better than this and pay no attention to what I'm wearing, <laughs> this is called newswear. <laughs> this is what we do when it's time oh. to tell you the news. Oh, it's the truth. Huh? Do you enjoy covering the weather? Did you, I mean, do you miss those days of still when you were a TV reporter standing out on the side of the road? You can't miss that, can you? Well, sometimes I do because once when it was really bad weather like this, I described myself as a snow-covered chocolate bunny. The news director did not think that was funny. <laughs> I did. Uh, I thought I it did was. Too. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. you know those little monkeys in China and the weather and the steams coming up. <laughs> I thought it was funny. He was like, "That's not news." I said, "I thought it was funny." Oh, B. Oh, you're so great. Front page with Beatrice Thompson is Monday through Friday mornings from 5:20 to 6, and Straight Talk with B. Thompson is Sunday from 11 to noon. It's on WBAV 101.9 FM. So there you have it, though. That's why everyone's standing out there. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. Drive carefully. Thank you. We Thank will. You, B.